During the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Kate Rockwell, a talented artist, captured the hearts of the lonely residents of Alaska with her musical performances and captivating choreography. Wearing stunning red chiffon costumes, she gracefully traversed the stage, interpreting the popular songs of that era. Her partner, a waiter who worked at one of the bars where she performed, played the role of her booking agent, ensuring that she took her performances to various Western locations. After using the substantial profits generated by Rockwell's performances to acquire theaters in Seattle, Washington, her partner eventually married someone else, completely distancing himself from the artist's life. Unfortunately, Kate Rockwell passed away while facing financial difficulties, while her former associate, Alexander Pantages, achieved notable financial success. Dora Hand, whose smile evoked memories of the pioneers, emerged as the central figure in more armed conflicts in the West than any other woman. Serving as a renowned singer in Dodge City, Kansas, this remarkably beautiful woman met a tragic fate in 1878 when she was fatally shot by James Spike Kennedy, a cowboy. In the year 1885, a significant moment marked the emergence of Nellie Bly, a name that would become celebrated in the field of journalism. At just 18 years old, a slender young woman named Elizabeth Cochran walked into the offices of the Pittsburgh Dispatch and made a statement that would resonate through the ages. She was the driving force behind the anonymous article titled, Women and Their Sphere in Life. Twin Sisters Cowgirl Athaly and Juanita Perry began their careers in the early 20th century, starting by performing in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show and later joining Barnum and Bailey Circus. Their act involved a routine that combined rope skills and horseback riding, particularly standing out for their thrilling stagecoach escape scene. Rose Dunn, also known as Rosa of Cimarron, was born in 1878 and played a transitional role in the outlaw scene, primarily due to her romantic involvement with George Bitter Creek Newcomb. In a notable event on September 1, 1893, authorities attempted to surround Bill Doolin's gang in the town of Ingalls, Oklahoma. During this episode, gang members, including Newcomb, sustained injuries inflicted by a group of U.S. Marshals. In certain areas of the West, it was a widespread practice for sex workers to obtain and carry licenses. The fees paid for these licenses were directed towards funding public services, including law enforcement and order maintenance. An intriguing marketing tactic was to include a photograph along with the corresponding license. This strategy aimed to grab attention and attract clients. Over 140 years ago, Victoria Woodhull made history by becoming the first woman nominated as a candidate for the presidency of the United States by the Equal Rights Party. Her journey included an intense election campaign, funded by daring ventures such as her role as a stockbroker on Wall Street. Starting as a favorite among mining communities, Lotta Crabtree embarked on a path that took her from the mining fields to stardom on Broadway. Her career was influenced by the remarkable dancer Lola Montez, who also lived in Grass Valley, California. Crabtree began her career at the young age of 8 in 1855, performing dances for local gold miners. Pearl Hart is remembered as an iconic figure of the Old West. She gained notoriety primarily for her involvement in a stagecoach robbery in 1899, becoming one of the rare women to commit such a crime during that time in the western United States. However, her escape was not as successful as she had hoped, and authorities caught up with her, resulting in her capture. After undergoing trial and conviction, Pearl Hart was sentenced to serve a prison term, despite public appeals for clemency. Laura Bullion's path was deeply influenced by a past filled with illegal activities. Her father, inclined towards bank robberies, set the stage for this context. As she went through her teenage years, Laura ended up entering the shadowy occupation of prostitution. At a crucial moment, she joined the infamous Wild Bunch gang, gaining notoriety as the Rose of the Wild Bunch. Belle Siddons was born on a prosperous southern farm, endowed with the remarkable beauty typical of that region. Amidst the tumultuous years of the Civil War, she used her charming appearance and joined the Confederate espionage network at the age of 25. However, fate took a new turn when her husband passed away, leading Belle Siddons to embark on a journey in search of fortune by establishing a store in South Dakota. From the beginning, Sarah Jane Newman displayed remarkable tenacity. She was born in 1817 and was part of one of the pioneering families that settled in the Austin region. Growing up in this environment, Sarah faced the constant challenge of protecting her family's land against persistent attacks. Additionally, there were speculations about her personal life, with claims that she entered into matrimony on five occasions, 
though rumors suggest that two of her husbands met mysterious fates. Mary Catherine Harrony, better known as Big Nose Kate, had a life marked by the intersection of privilege and tragic events. Born into a wealthy family, the early loss of her parents at the age of 14 plunged her into a pit of despair. This terrible twist of fate led her into the adoption system, but her adventurous nature could not be contained for long. Big Nose Kate emerges as a multifaceted example of life in the American Old West, whose journey of ups and downs mirrors the quest for independence, identity, and love amid challenging circumstances. Born in 1848 into a wealthy family in Missouri, Myra Maybell Shirley, later known as Bell Star, seemed destined to follow a conventional path, marrying a wealthy man and leading a traditional and peaceful life. However, Bell's fate took a significant turn when her family moved to Texas in 1864. It was in this context that she crossed paths with members of Jesse James's crew, the famous James Younger Gang. In 1866, she exchanged wedding vows with Jim Reed, a horse thief. Etta Place, a figure shrouded in mystery, is most notoriously remembered as the companion of Butch Cassidy and later as the wife of Harry Longabaugh, also known as the Sundance Kid. However, her story is permeated with details that remain elusive. Historical records suggest that she held the position of a girlfriend within the Wild Bunch gang, collaborating with Cassidy and Longabaugh in some of their daring heists. Furthermore, after a series of robberies in the United States, Etta Place joined them in their escape to Argentina. Eleanor Dumont, whose place of birth is possibly New Orleans around 1829, belonged to a Creole family, and her childhood remains shrouded in mystery due to the lack of detailed records. However, her entry into the public sphere occurred in Nevada City, where she opened a gambling house that immediately caught the attention of local men. Her beauty and refined manners were irresistible to them. Baptized as prairie beauties and daring western bells, these women came from diverse backgrounds, converging to astonish and captivate Eastern and European audiences with their unusual skills, such as horseback riding, lassoing, and other unconventional feminine abilities. Although Annie Oakley, when performing with Buffalo Bill's Wild West, may have been the most famous female figure of her time, she was not alone in this entertainment world scenario. At the age of 15, Annie Oakley achieved a remarkable victory in a shooting duel against the traveling show marksman, Frank E. Butler. They later married, and after a few years, joined Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. Annie Oakley became famous for her remarkable shooting accuracy and had the opportunity to perform in front of royalty and world leaders. She was also an active advocate for women's service in combat operations for the U.S. military. Susan Anderson, known as Doc Susie, devoted her life to medicine. Born in 1870 in Indiana, she pursued studies in medicine and later established her own clinic. Her notoriety came when she successfully saved a minor's arm, even after another doctor had recommended amputation. Throughout an impressive 47 years, Anderson tirelessly practiced medicine, concluding her career only at the age of 84. Bonnie Parker was born in 1910 in the town of Rowena, Texas. Her early story was filled with promising educational opportunities and dreams of a career as an actress. Her intellectual brilliance shone as she pursued her aspirations in the world of the arts. However, a radical turn of events occurred when Bonnie, at the age of 19, crossed paths with 20-year-old ex-convict Clyde Barrow. The mutual attraction between them was instantaneous, and the impact of this connection was profound. We've concluded another fascinating chapter in the history of the Old West and these extraordinary women. If you enjoyed learning about these incredible personalities and their thrilling journeys, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more historical content and trivia. Just click the subscribe button and activate the notification bell to stay updated on all our videos. Thank you for following along, and until next time.